People of all ages have been affected in this outbreak, um, including uh, 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 children, young adults, uh, older adults, and the elderly. Uh, and the uh, outbreak is spread evenly across all the age groups. We have confirmed that 486 persons uh, from 43 states and one from Canada have been reported with the outbreak strain of salmonella. Of these people, 22% have been hospitalized and six have died, uh, perhaps in association with this outbreak. The salmonella bacteria causes an illness with diarrhea, fever, abdominal cramps, and uh, sometimes can last for five to seven days uh, before it gets better. In people who are at higher risk, and that's the very young, the very old, or people with underlying immunocompromise, Salmonella can enter the bloodstream and cause serious or even life-threatening infections. As with any diarrheal illness, drinking lots of fluids, uh, including salty soups, uh, and uh, for those people who appear to have a very serious infection, antibiotic treatment can be uh, important. Salmonella is an interesting bacteria in that if it's in dry circumstances or circumstances without much water, it can survive, and it can even survive heating that would kill it if it were in a wet environment or a moist environment. Peanut butter is oily, and there's very little water in peanut butter. Salmonella in peanut butter may survive heating uh, that would kill salmonella in other foods. We have no evidence that the national name brand peanut butters that are bought in jars at grocery stores are involved in this outbreak. Uh, so uh, the national name brands of peanut butter uh, do not at this point appear to be part of this outbreak. Uh, what is clearly part of this outbreak is one brand of peanut butter that served in institutions and then a number of products which are made with peanut butter uh, from the same factory. If you're not sure if a product's been recalled or not, there's a growing list of products on, this, on the FDA website that one can consult. There's also a phone number on each product that goes to the company, and if you're really not sure whether it's part of a, a recall or not, you can call the company.